I'm still a little woman, walk up and down. I can't just you know, say, yeah, wake up in the morning, I'm gone, I school gone, do something. We learned from some basic English and maths. Well, it's a wonderful experience dealing with a student from the inner city. Positive reviews from participants in a program to boost literacy, numeracy and vocational skills. It's part of efforts to achieve strategic priority number four on government's agenda. Human capital development, building the capacity of individuals so they can effectively contribute to the nation's growth. The Ministry of National Security through the Citizen Security and Justice Program, CSJP, has been working with non-government organization Operation Friendship as well as the Jamaica Foundation for Lifelong Learning, JFLL, to offer remedial training to persons in vulnerable communities. CSJP, which targets unattached youth in volatile communities, recruits the youngsters. Operation Friendship facilitates the training at its institution and JFLL provides the math and English teachers. To deliver a 10-month pre-vocational program which was aimed at one improving literacy levels as well as their social skills with minimal exposure to general construction. Using aspects of the constant practicing teaching method, classwork, assignments, tests and projects, students were prepared for the hard trust entrance exam. If successful, they would move on to CSJP's vocational program which provides advanced skills training at Hard Trust NTA. Okay, today we're going to be talking about synonyms. Have you ever heard the word synonyms before? Kind and generous. Vacant, empty. Messy and dirty. You had to work from the basic letter sounds and stuff into the other, other areas of literacy. This is my first time teaching adults, so it was, the transition was a bit difficult, but I mean, I got into it. The guys made me feel comfortable and, you know, so it has been good. Class, what are we going to do today? Change, Change decimal to percentage. What are we going to do? Change decimal to percentage. It's fun when the teacher teach about percentage and them things and teach in a little cheeky way if do it. Students are interested in learning, right, and they try their best to maintain discipline and stuff like that. And Mr. White is a living testament to what can be achieved if one is disciplined. Having been a participant in the CSJP, he completed his studies in primary education at the Michael University and is now empowering other young people. Administrators of the CSJP's pre-vocational training program worked tirelessly to educate and train the youngsters as they acted on strategic priority number four on government's list. Many of them felt very stigmatized and many of them had a low self-esteem which resulted from the fact that they were unable to read at levels that they should. But after intense work, a shocking revelation. 22 of the 25 students who took the Heart Trust entrance exams were successful, paving the way for them to move on to higher heights. I feel overwhelmed and say yes. I achieve where I come from. That was the aim to pass the test. And I say yes, I did it. I old school from 2005, and I doesn't take up a book at home. And this program make me take up book and show interest of doing some work. I think the success can be attributed to the motivation, to the quality of the instructors that we had, to the fact that the youngsters um, had to do the work which was necessary. We were able to come up with a new design for the syllabus, which really sort of focused on what had to be done in order to get them through the exams. We are going to a next level, construction, getting a skill. But the participants already have a rudimentary understanding of general construction, which will give them an edge when they begin CSJP's vocational program, Advanced Skills Training at Heart Trust NTA. It teach me like to hold a hammer the right way. You don't hold the hammer down in the neck, you hold the hammer at the end, and you swing your wrists. Well, my mindset is to, to inform other young men out, outside, in and outside the community, just to show that we get off the road and can come down at Operation Friendship and, and get it further. 
I'm that star up in the sky. I'm that mountain peak up high. Hey, I made it. Mm, I'm the world's greatest. To celebrate the achievement of the youngsters, a graduation ceremony was held at the offices of the JFLL. The results of a survey, the learner performance feedback, indicated that the program did much more than help participants pass the Heart Trust entrance exam. 87% indicated that their team building skills have improved. Excellent. 91%, want to listen to this, 91% indicated that their conflict management skills have improved. I'm that star up in the sky. I'm that mountain peak up high. Hey, I made it. You can't really look at persons from the inner city and say they're not worth it or they can't make it. If you as a teacher just do what you have to do, teach them, love them, you know, just talk to them about reality and encourage them. Come to Operation Friendship. We are willing, we are able, we have the uh, manpower, we have the space, and we have the motivation to help wherever it is possible. And I think that many of them see it now as a launching pad for greater things to do with their future. So CSJP, Operation Friendship and JFLL have been working together to achieve government's strategic priority of human capital development, improving numeracy and literacy levels of unattached youth while developing their social and vocational skills, building their capacity to make them employable and marketable so they can contribute to national development. My world's greatest.